going on, everybody? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We are super excited to be sitting with you Amen. again. Praise God. So, Rach, today we're continuing to talk about breaking free from sin. Yes. And we just talked about, uh, on the last five episodes of this, about awaking to righteousness yes. and sinning, about the fact of how important it is to appropriate yes. what Jesus has done for you, that you have forgiveness, you have righteousness, mm -hmm. then appropriating that by faith mm -hmm. will give you the power to break free from sin. Amen. And if you miss those, you can go watch yes. one through five on our YouTube channel. And you, how do I say this? What we're going to talk about starting now is important and would bear fruit even in a non-believer's life. This is practical application that yeah. the Word shows us. However, what we talk about in those first five of this series is like, if you want to walk yeah. in extreme power, that is it, praise God. So listen to this, but if you haven't watched that, you can go watch, watch this, praise this, yeah. God. Okay, I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. And the reason I say that this would even produce fruit in a non-believer's mm -hmm. life is because there's certain principles yeah, in the word. That they're just, they're true. They're principles. We have like righteousness in mm -hmm. Christ, the same righteousness that Jesus has. Is that true for everybody on the earth? No. No, no it's not. The sacrifice has been made, but only those who have received it and said, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. have that righteousness literally accounted to them now. Whereas this Seed right, time and harvest, yes, that's for everybody. That <laughs> is, that is an absolute truth. It'll work better if you're yes. born again, but even in the natural realm, if you go plant an apple uh, seed, you can grow apples, praise God. And this right here, first Corinthians 15, 33 says, do not be deceived. Evil company mm -hmm. corrupts good habits. And for a believer, Rach, how important is it, is it to <laughs> surround yourself with that which what you want to be done in your own life. Yeah, it's like, huge. Okay, let's say you're trying to, let's say you're struggling with drug addiction. Well, you know what? If you're struggling with some type of drug addiction and your friends are all drug addicts, it's gonna be extremely hard yeah. to break free from anything because you're putting yourself in a surrounding. And I love this because it says, do not be deceived, evil company or evil communication. Yep corrupts good habits yes if you want good habits hang out with people who practice good habits mm -hmm. i mean it is huge yeah. if you're struggling with pornography hang out with people who watch the right types of movies yeah. who aren't watching movies that with lust yeah. and this type of stuff who aren't sending you things that are oh my gosh somebody messaged me this like this or that a or something like that something. yeah who's messing with you in the, on that realm yeah. hang out with people who keep you accountable in the yeah. right way yep that will produce so yeah. much fruit in your life and that will sure up so many areas where sin tries to fight back in on your life you'll see yourself yeah. walking free from a lot mm -hmm. of things Simply by choosing the right friends. Absolutely. And some of these things you can't control, like in a work atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So if you can't control it, like in your work, you know, you've got to work and you're going to be around only go ungodly people. Yep. Make sure you're controlling it in your free time. Yes. The time you get to choose, because some of us can't choose. I mean, Willie worked construction for many years. Yeah. And I worked in um, sales. And, re and you know what? There was times where you're just around people who are just using profanity or looking at uh you used to have people they put up naked pictures mm -hmm. they, you know what i'm saying and you got to do your best to not look or listen to that stuff mm -hmm. but you have been given yeah. your free time yeah you have been given who you make your core group if that group of friends says yeah. hey we're going out for drinks after mm -hmm. work you need to say you know what sorry i got something planned and yeah. they might say oh what you can't come mm -hmm. you can't and you're just going to have to begin to take steps. You still love people, mm -hmm. but for the protection of your own life mm -hmm. and going in the right direction, you are going to have to disconnect from some of the people in your life. And you know what? There may come a time years down the road where you're in a place to minister to those people. That has happened for both of us. Yeah. At the time when, when Willie and I were changing our life, we had to separate mm -hmm. the distance between a lot of relationships. It wasn't super easy, mm -hmm. but it was needful yeah. for our own hearts and our own growth at the time. Yeah. And we did that. But I'm telling you now, a decade later, even a decade, mm -hmm. you and I mm -hmm. have been able to minister to many of our friends. Absolutely. They've seen the difference in our life. Yeah. They saw the transformation. 
And they've actually come or sent us messages, said like, wow, I, I want what you have. I, your life is so different. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's incredibly true that you not only separate from the people who can bring harm mm -hmm. and provoke more of that temptation or mm -hmm. those sins, but then to actually begin to surround yourself with quality people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we went to couples connection. We went to small groups. We went to, you know, church, but even besides just a big church, mm -hmm. getting in a smaller Connect, group yes, with people. For sure. There's there's so much practical advice in this because it's like okay, there's some temptations that you can almost completely eradicate from your life oh, yeah. by choosing who you hang out Absolutely. with. Absolutely. And taking it serious. And uh, you know, for instance, Say you're struggling with smoking, and I don't think smoking is like something that just you, I don't believe you're going to hell for smoking or anything like that, okay? But in the sense of like we know it's bad for your health, yeah, right? Yeah, it can kill you. So let's just take it from a very natural standpoint. Um, if you want to quit smoking, if you don't hang out in places that are people are always lighting up cigarettes around you, but you hang out with people who don't like the smell of smoke, there you go. You know what? That in itself is going to help. It's not going to take care of it. You're still going to have time by yourself that you can go buy a pack of smokes and stuff like that. So you're still going to have to say no to that and resist. However, it is going to put you in a position, in a lot mm -hmm. better position to succeed. It's kind of like, I mean, this is just practical, practical, practical. practical. steps, you guys. In the same way, when you are dealing with something like this is more like actual sin against like what you believe in, um, like something like dealing with women, something dealing like yeah. with lust, something dealing with uh, addiction to certain substances and stuff like mm -hmm. this, where you just choose the right people and say, you know what, it's not that I don't love this person, but for my own growth, there has to come a period where I'm free. Now, I believe later, like Rachel talked about, you will get like yeah. to where it's not such a pull on mm -hmm. you. And then, you know what, you don't have to, you, you maybe can hang in there a little bit if someone, like just take this natural reasoning yeah. again, if someone lights up a cigarette around, around you, you could probably stay out there and minister to that person yeah. and not really, it'd be a big deal if you haven't smoked in 10 years. But if you're trying to quit that day and it's really got a hold on you, you might have to just say, yeah. no, oh, okay, I'll see you later, you know what I mean? Yeah. And just get away from it and yes. that's okay. And you know what? A big thing. If you are in a relationship with somebody, like you're not married, you have a boyfriend or a mm. girlfriend, and you know you shouldn't be sleeping with that person mm -hmm. or doing certain things, and they want to do those things, yep. you need to get out of that relationship. Yep. If you value God and mm -hmm. His Word to you, yep. which says that you know fornication mm -hmm. is not right, it mm -hmm. can bring the wrong things in yes. your life. And I just want to reiterate, I was talking about smoking. Smoking and fornication are not the not same the thing, same. praise no, God. No, 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 not the same. Fornication, we know, yeah. is a direct sin yes. against the Word, yes. against your own body, against yes. everything. Yes. That is something you need to take ultra serious. Yes. I was just using smoking as an example. No, and it was a Smoking great, is bad for you, but you, it you get It was a great point. example. I just wanted to say. No, please, yeah. keep going because that is so true. If who, even if, if you're coming to a revelation of the Lord, after you were in a, rev a, a relationship with this person, if that is not stopping, if yeah. that person is putting pressure on you yep. to continue to do those things, Rachel's 100% right. You need to value God. You need to honor the yeah. Lord and say, sorry, yeah. I can't, sorry, I can't be in this relationship right. anymore and separate yourself. Because that person doesn't value you or Anyways. love you yep. if they don't honor God and yep. want to also walk with you on a path that is free and is saying, hey, let's yep. pursue holiness because mm -hmm. We, I am at least a child of God. Amen. And I'm going to pursue that direction. Amen. You need to get out of that relationship. Yes, and, and you need to be with somebody who shares the and beliefs and values you do. This scripture goes right along with what Paul said about not being unequally yoked with unbelievers. Yes. Yeah. Who we choose to hang out with will be the starting point a lot of times for what we're going to do. Yep. It, will, it produces so much opportunity for the things we want in our lives when it's people we need to be hanging Absolutely. out with. And when it's people we don't need to be hanging out with, it produces so much opportunity to it's do so things good. you don't want to do. All right, you guys, we will see you next time. Be blessed.